First question is from Vidal F3. I want to get a machine for cardio. Between the treadmill, elliptical, rower, or bike, what machine would be the most beneficial for workouts, hit, and overall health? Oh, if you well, if Vidal the choice Sassoon. if the choice is between those, uh, in my opinion, the treadmill is the is the best option. It's the most hmm. versatile. Um, walking, running, you could practice your technique and form on them. Uh, it's very functional. It's the easiest to do at lower intensities for a lot of people. You know, if you need to get on in there and just walk, um, it's there's a reason why it's the most popular piece of cardio equipment. It's existed forever and it's always in, in all of them. I don't have an issue with ellipticals, rowers, or bikes, the the, the necessarily, but the like a rower I think requires more skill, mm-hmm. requires a little bit better stability. Ellipticals are are okay, um, but you're 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 limited. You can't do you can only do the elliptical. Whereas on a treadmill, there's a lot of different things you can do if you want to get you know kind of created. Uh, but at the end of the day, the one that you feel most comfortable with is probably going to be fine because really what you're training, unless you're training specifically for a sport like biking, rowing, running, um, you're just strengthening your cardiovascular system, in which case you could do that with all of those. Yeah, if you're looking at it uh, in terms of the, the mechanics of, of walking, running, jogging, and all that, you know, then a treadmill, treadmill obviously is going to make sense with that out of all of them. But uh, in terms of what I look for out of like a piece of cardio equipment is – you know, how, how like involved I can get my lower body, my upper body, like everything, uh, stimulated by it. So I, I, I tend to choose something like, uh, the rower or, or the bike, like the assault bike where I can actually rip the handles and, and you know, really get uh, my upper body, uh, engaged as well. Just, I just, I can't stand uh, – to, to me, it just feels like I'm a hamster on a wheel uh, with, with the treadmill, and it's yeah. just like a slow death. I'd rather be outside, you know, hiking or uh, doing hills. But for your average person, I think a treadmill with the, with the ability for it to incline, I think is a fantastic option. I can actually make a case for each one of these. I, there's there's a there's a person that this is that's why the answer is always depends with us right yeah because somebody and I if I had to put one uh, in last place I would put the bike unless you say the assault bike like Justin just said if you put assault bike and replace a bike I can make a case for each one of those mm-hmm. uh, your simple case you just made for the I mean the second the assault bike too is I think it, it, it they've already done studies on the the ability to reach like your your max heart rate and burn the most of calories. I mean, yeah, real up, quickly. Right. It's yeah. up it's up there with one of the best when it comes to when we're talking about just straight burn. So there's the case for that, right? Rower, in my opinion, is probably one of the healthiest things someone could learn to do. Now, because of the point that Sal made, the learning curve on it is probably the highest out of all those. Mm-hmm. Right? You getting on a bike very easy, getting on a, a treadmill very easy, elliptical even easier. Uh, rowing most technical, but because it's most technical, probably has the the greatest advantage for seeing the most return from it, right? Like I, it's going to, if you learn to do it well, you're going to get great core strength from there. You get leg drive from there. You're doing retracting and working the posterior train. So your back is getting involved, which we as trainers know that working on the posterior chain is so important for most clients. So I can make a ton of value uh, for the rower treadmill, why I can make the case the same reason why Sal did. You could, it's probably the most versatile. You can do the most things on it as far as walking, running, skipping, uphill, flat. Even you can do some treadmills downhill. So I think that that one is the most versatile. Elliptical, though, if I have a client who is uh, got joint issues, if you have um, a lot of knee pain or hip pain, uh, that is the lowest impact. That one in the bike are the lowest impact out of all those. So it's probably the healthiest way, and you are moving. Ellipticals are moving your arms and your legs. So it actually, when you measure the calorie burn in comparison to a lot of things, it may seem easier. But you, I remember when I uh, the body bug first came out, I actually wore it, and then I did all of these uh, different uh, cardio modalities to see like how the expenditure. And w- the one I was most surprised in was the elliptical. Elliptical was right up there with the treadmill with the most amount of calories burn for the same amount of time that I, uh, that I was on it. So I can see a lot of value there. So it really depends on the person. Uh, none of them, none of them are wrong. And like Sal said, the main thing that you're using it for, unless it's very sport specific for what you're trying to accomplish, is to train the heart. And you could do that doing yeah. jumping jacks. Right. You can do that uh, jogging outside. You can do that with warrior ropes. Just running in place. Yeah. Nice. And and the truth is, uh, no matter which one you choose, 
if you do it every single day consistently for the same time, the same intensity, at some point, the body will get very adapted to it. And then the main thing that you're trying to accomplish from it, as far as, you know, your, your cardiovascular uh, endurance is going to start to diminish unless you start to vary, change it or increase time or yeah. intensity. on I it. mean, in, but you know, general activity is just good for you. General daily activity is just healthy. So even if you're doing it and you're not necessarily getting any more cardio gains or fat loss gain. So Just which the fact one, that you're so moving. which one will you do the most, right? Yeah. So that's the the truth is yeah. and if you, you know like what? to row, row. Right. So here's why I like the treadmill for me. This is a me speaking, just for myself. With the treadmill, I could, and I used to do this. I in my personal training studio, we had treadmills and we had ellipticals in there. I had a few of them. And what I would do oftentimes is when I was working um, either on my phone working or I'm writing something or I want to read something, I could multitask easier with a treadmill than I could with like an elliptical um, or a, definitely a rower because a rower requires your hand. So I could put the book up on the platform, whatever the screen for the treadmill, and I would just do a slow walk. So rather than just sitting and reading, and believe it or not, for someone like me, that movement actually helped me stay focused. I would actually absorb more of what I was reading, mm -hmm. but I would walk at a slow pace. It would be like, you know, with a three or whatever. And I'd put the, the, the book up on the, on the platform and I would just read and I'd be there for yeah. 45 minutes just to be active. So. I didn't even mention the jump rope, but that's my go-to mainly because like the, the timing of it and the snap and the power of that is a great you know, way to, 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 to translate to, uh, you know, athletic moves and just being more explosive. And it's just like a repetitive pattern that uh, you're training your body to, to, you know, respond and get that recoil really quick. Uh, and it, it requires a lot of skill. I mean, the, there's no doubt about that. Like you have to really, uh, work your way through that so you can get to the timing and the, and the body position and, you know, where, when and where you need to like add your, your bits of inflection. So, uh, uh, it's definitely something though that I always go back to that to make sure that I have that skill. 